Alpha. I drive underrated rock bouncer and I'm hoping to make it out the top. You're watching the SRRS post race show on the YouTubes. The Southern Rock Racing Series post race show has been brought to you by PSC Steering Components. Hey everybody, we're out here at Wind Rock, Tennessee, getting ready for the race. It's early morning, the drivers are getting prepared. We got the hill here. Clyde, show, go over this hill with us. Uh, what we did, we come out usually a couple days before each event, we'll prep some hills. This event, we cut a new hill. Uh, it's going to be more of a driver hill for the first hill like always. It goes all the way to the top, finish line at the banner. The second hill is a hill that we modified that was an existing hill. We modified it with a little tweak at the top and it's going to put on a really good show at the top of the second hill. My name is Ryan Grandpa. I drive the Hulk buggy. Um, I'm hoping that I hit these hills just right and try to clear that top road up there thinking maybe we can jump it. I don't know, but all I got to do is make it to the top. That's kind of the game plan, not hit a tree. So that's what I'm working for today. Welcome back, guys. We'd like to talk about some of the marketing partners that help us make all this work. Absolutely. You got National Tire and Wheel. They're presenting the Northern Series. They do. Those guys help us out a lot, mm -hmm. uh, bringing the new series in this year. We've also got RCV, the best of show, on top of uh, those guys help us with the RCV recovery crew. Uh, they do a lot of forces. Well. Right, I'm Scott Gopals. I'm here with BJ Wills, with a guy who over the Southern Rock Racing Recovery and does some of the safety measures here. What extra measures do we take today for safety or you know, keep the crowd out? What, what have we got going on with that? Well, well, we'll start the day with, uh, actually yesterday, trying to get all the, uh, uh, the trails marked out real good. We also want to make sure that we get the uh, an area marked out for the crowd could be safe to be uh, up to this point. Uh, then when we get towards race day, we, we come back and scour the area again, make sure there's uh, trees out of the way that's not gonna poke through roll cages and things like that. Also, in the mornings, we're gonna go run through all the buggies, uh, check out their safety gear, fire extinguishers, harnesses, rollover protection on the uh, gas tanks and things like that, make sure all that stuff's uh, up to par. Uh, then when we get going, we also, it's a constant all day long, gotta make sure that all the people stay where they need to be. Uh, make sure ride drivers get into race mode. They forget to uh, you know, buckle a harness or latch a helmet. We're gonna check all that, double check it before they go up the hill. Uh, even the simple things, all the in four wheel drive. Uh, so sometimes it sounds weird, but sometimes it does happen. Uh, you just gotta get to keep it going all day long. Make sure the people do what they need to do. All right, well, you do a good job. Well, I think we've done a real good job. Yes, I do. You got SCS Gearbox, toughest gearbox out there. I haven't seen one broken yet, and there, mm -hmm. it ain't from lack of trying. That's Bobby Tanner and those in uh, the champion last year, Sean Tolson, they, they abuse it pretty well. Yeah, they do. We also have Sway Away, the official shock for Southern Rock Racing this year. They're new on board this year. You got Excel Sports. They make great fire suits. They got the guys looking sharp, got them safe. Can't ask for much more. Yeah, it's got a lot of these guys starting to look really professional. It's uh, It's been a great asset this year for us. Mm -hmm. We've also got Tim Lyle with Extreme LED as the official lighting for Southern Rock Racing this year. You also got Rugged Radio's official communication. Without these guys, we couldn't keep things moving along smooth. We actually, we use the Rugged Radio's as all of our operations. And uh, this year, they've a lot of the drivers have started using, you know, helmets with the sound and, and have their pit crew helping them on the sidelines. It, uh, I've seen a lot a lot of people using it this year. We also have uh, the side-by-side -side class. The side-by-side -side class, uh, Nate Blackwell with NCB Diesel, he uh, stepped up this year and, and put together a side-by-side -side cup for the series this year. Yep. You got Super ATV also, it's presenting the Northern Series. Yep, and everybody knows who Super ATV are. They, uh, they do 
they actually help out a lot of racers uh, and do a great job taking care of the guys. We also got ORB Fab. They present the Southern Series for the side-by-side -side class. And let's not forget about the media. Without these guys, we can't get, get it out there for y'all to see in case you can't make it, which you should be there anyway, but if you can't make it. If you can't make it, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of guys that are helping. Uh, one of them is Cole Shirley with Madram 11. Mm -hmm. He's been around for a long time. He does a really good job putting together these videos and they get better and better each time. As well as Bust, Busted Knuckle Films. Busted Knuckle Films. Yeah. Matt does a really good job putting it together as well. He continues to step up. Uh, all those guys are doing a great job this year with it. That's true. We also have Rock Rigs, you guys, uh, obviously putting together these shows and informing the fans and the drivers and keeping it all up to date. That's true. You got Image Off-Road. Yep, she we'll does a great down. job with photography. Also, this at this event, uh, Ricky B, looks like he's going to come out of retirement and uh, come put together an album. All right. So maybe, maybe if you see him there, if you see him there, give him a big hug and ask for his autograph. <laughs> we'll be right back with a Southern Rock Racing Series post-race show. Digged and set a zag and totally took out the tree. I hit it. Right here. That's where bumper hit. I knew I was in trouble before I got there. <laughs> I got you sideways. All right. Let's go over the point system that we have set up. Clyde, why don't you tell us something about that? The way the point system works, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, we run the hill usually anywhere from 30 to even up to 55 drivers this year. Uh, first place earns uh, 50 points, second place earns 46 points, third place 33 points. From there it's 42, 41, and it goes down by one. If you climb the hill, that driver earns 10 points for that hill. Uh, if you attempt the hill and flip or break or whatever, you still earn five points for that hill. Uh, the RCV Best of Show works the same way. Uh, we put up a poll on the website after each event and fans get to come on and vote for who they thought was best to show and whoever gets the most votes obviously 50 points the second most votes 46 points and the same way All right so don't y'all forget to go vote on that yep after the race be sure you vote on it don't suck up hello i'm scott go for i'm here with wheel stir at the wind rock southern rock race number five what do you think about the hills yeah, oh they're pretty good today uh, they're so hill so they're pretty good they're kind of steep but a little steep than i'm used to but i think i'll do all right on them it's your day today yeah it's my day it's my day i'm gonna win today yeah i feel right, have fun thanks, thanks. The Southern Rock Racing Series post-race show has been brought to you by PSC Steering Components. Yeah.